Hi, welcome to this SOLIDWORKS tutorial for packaging machine assembly for different tools and analysis. So topic for the, this tutorial is drafting. In this tutorial you will learn tools in the drafting for packaging machine assembly which are importing standard views or parts or assembly in the drawing, generating bill of materials table, balloons, flat pattern view, exploded assembly view, how to add them in the drawing, dimensioning, auto dimensioning, how to use them, how to add the symbols like weldments, and editing the title block. So let's start the tutorial now. So this is the final assembly view. For the packaging assembly if you want to create drawing from this assembly you can go to the file menu and use this make drawing from assembly you can select different sheet sizes according to your need I'm selecting a0 size for now in this right hand side there is a view palette where you will have all the views front top view top view left view right view isometric diametric trimetric everything you can just simply get the front view dragged into the sheet and put it over there this is the configuration of the view you can change the display style to the dotted style to the other sizes you can change this scale as well use the suit scale or use the custom scale now if you want to create views from this dragged view you can go to this projected view over here and drag the views from there or you can use this standard 3 view as well now this is the isometric view and you want it to display like this so you can do it over here as well Now the next point is how to generate the bill of materials for this assembly. You can go to the insert menu to the table and this is the bill of materials. This is the uh, different configurations. You can use the default as well and put or put it wherever you need. So this is the part number, description, whatever you have written in the description of the part. Now the next point in drafting is to show where the, this part is assembled in this drawing. Like the item number 3 is where. So you can use the balloon function of the SOLIDWORKS click on the drawing view and click on the auto balloon you will see the different uh, numbers designated with different parts which will show where which part is assembled now you can change the view of these balloons like this you can change the text inside the balloon which is showing item number for now you can change it to quantity you can change it to properties you can change it to file name as well or the part number I am letting this as a defa at default value the next point is how to add the exploded view in this sheet 
so for that you will need to create the exported view first for that open the assembly go to configurations right click on the default view and create a new exported view by clicking on it for that select all the parts or you can select one part or select two three parts as per the necessity I'm selecting all the parts now and click on apply you will see the exploded view like this you can change direction of exploded view you want to go to make it to the right side y direction you can select the this clear it and add the y direction now you can see the exploded view here now save the file go to the drawing and you can see the exploded view in the view palette okay uh, and we we'll need to refresh it first see this is the isometric exploded view just drag it and add it right in the shoot like this can use the same procedure to make drawing for all the parts and assemblies like this way this is the assembly of air cylinder we can go to the file make drawing from assembly select the appropriate seat and can use the views or we can use the star standard three views as well we need will need the isometric view as well so creating the one now this would be the base of all the three views so if I change the scale of this it, the scale of all other drawings will be changed like this I have uh, made the scale half the size and all of this uh, drawings had been changed so this is what we are going to do we are doubling the seat scale now using the smart dimension we can add the dimensions of the major parts like this same way we can create the drawing for the motor assembly go to the file menu make drawing from assembly click on drawing ok select the sheet use the standard 3 view tool click ok and project the isometric view for matter now here the dimensions are very small in size so for changing the size of the dimension we can go to the other menu and unmark the used document font click on the fonts and change it the value to 20 or 28 as per the need now the dimension will be shown in bigger sizes Till now we have created the drawing 
for the assemblies in here we are creating the drawing from the motor file go to the same procedure in here you will see the make drawing from part select the drawing select the sheet use the standard 3 view tool project the iso view click ok and give the appropriate dimensions here you will see the dimensions in mm you can change the dimensions in inch or others by clicking the default option in here you can click on the option and select whatever you will need now as this previous one we are creating the drawing for the box part go to the make drawing from part use the drawing tool choose the sheet add the standard 3 view project the iso view and give the proper dimensions like this now if we want to add the weld symbols welded symbols like this in the drawing we can go to the process like this for this for creating the drawing from the part you can go to the file menu and make drawing from part so select the sheet as per the need and for now I am using the standard 3 view now select any one drawing go to annotations select the model items select all and click ok now you can see the wheel symbols are added the dimensions are added all the dimensions are added automatically you will not need it to add the dimensions afterwards you will just need to correct them add space between in between them or if you want to add the weld symbol by yourself you can click on the weld symbol and add it wherever you want like this or you want to add the dimension by yourself click on the smart dimension and add the dimension like this as well as if you want to add the center line you can select the center line from here and select the two points in which in between which the center line is needed and just click ok and the center line will be there and for the drafting procedures many times will be needed to use the hat symbols or area or something like that you can click on the area hatch or fill use any one needed and just click on the places where you want to add the symbols now the next point in drafting is how to add the flat pattern view in the drawing for that you will need a sheet metal part and now you will need to create the flat pattern first by flatten tool here is the flatten just click on the flatten and the flat pattern view will be created now after creating the flat pattern view you must save the file then click on this and the 
light pattern will be gone now click on the now make a drawing from this part and you will see the flat pattern in the view palette only and there is every single thing needed will be written in the flat pattern by itself from the uh, bending type to the radius to the degree of bending now last but not the least how to edit the title block you can go to the sheet format right click on the title block table and click on the edit title block you can edit the name and add the part number and everything wherever it is needed so thank you